We're here with Dana Prino, a senior on the 5-1 and one women's lacrosse team who has been selected as the College of Brockport Female Athlete of the Week. First off, Dana, congratulations on reaching the 200 career point plateau and your 21-2 victory over Potsdam on Saturday. What does reaching that milestone say about your career here at Brockport? Um, it definitely is one of the highlights of my senior year so far. Um, it's one of those things that when you're a senior incoming freshman, you think of it and you're like, okay, am I ever going to reach that milestone? You hear about people doing it a lot in college and actually finally reaching it is a very, very humbling experience. So. You're the leading point scorer on a team that has outscored the opponents by more than 40 goals this year. What's been the key to the offensive outburst this season? Um, we are a very fast-paced team. We have a lot of lot of speed in the midfield, and we definitely like to push the ball as much as we can. Um, we have a very intense first initial attack on offense, so we just keep pushing and pushing and pushing until the defense eventually falls apart, so that kind of goes along with that. Later, later this afternoon, you face off against Cortland State, who you haven't beaten in your previous three years here at Brockport. <laughs> what do you need to do today to beat them? We just need to play smart and play together. That's all. Anything can happen, you know. We just need to play together and be smart and do what we need to do and get the ball in the back of the net. There are nine players on the team from Central New York this year. What is it about that area that makes it such a hotbed for lacrosse? Um, it's just a very competitive area. A lot of the high, we just have a lot of just really good teams, good solid teams, good solid girls coming in. We have a lot of club teams. Um, it's just like a really good area. We just it's a lot of competition, so we definitely want to try to be the best, and it definitely like shows in the college too. Just a few more weeks left here in your college career. What are the big plans for after graduation? Uh, <laughs> not really any big plans. Just going back home to Syracuse and trying to find some jobs. I'm applying to some jobs, so I guess we'll see what happens from there. All right. Thank you very much.